Hello, welcome to the podcast. In this podcast, yes, we're going to talk about the historic presidential win for President-elect Barack Obama. We're going to do our best to take you behind the scenes of more on the coverage that we provided you. Now, here is a look at the moment that it became clear that Barack Obama would be the 44th president of the United States. This is inside the control room at CNN. Run it, breaking news. Put it in the wall. Go out to it. Yeah, loud and clear. 47 years old will become the president elect of the United States. We project he now has enough electoral votes, more than 270. Go to the crowd. Watch the banner. Out of nowhere, delivering the uh, Democratic Convention keynote address back at the convention in uh, 2004, all of a sudden taking off, becoming a United States Senator from Illinois, and now he will be the first African-American president of the United States. Now here's something really interesting. In the midst of all of this, there's so much excitement about transitioning to this next group, you know, this next administration. Have you heard of something called the Plum Book? 8,000 jobs, federal jobs, that might be up for grabs now. Richard Quest over at CNN International told us all about it. The Plum Book will be published on about November the 12th. It is a list of the 8,000 or so jobs that will become available in the federal government as a result of a change in the administration. Now, why is it called the Plum Book? Well, you're absolutely right, because they are the Plum Jobs. jobs. Look at this. What, what, what? It doesn't matter which part of the United States you're in, there could be a Plum Job for you. Perfect, because look, so many of us are hey, out of jobs. Hey, look at this. For instance, in the state executive director in Minnesota, Delaware, everyone, all part of the Rural Affairs Department, plum jobs. Every state's got one. State director Alabama for the Office of Undersecretary for Rural Development, all gone. gone. And do you have to know somebody to get these jobs? <laughs> yes, you do. The point about the plum job is this gives people a chance. The serious point one has to make is this gives people a chance to apply, to polish their resume and apply for those jobs. This document <gasps> is the Presidential Transition Guide. This tells you what happens if you're about to lose your job in the administration. For instance, do I apply for unemployment? What happens? Will I be eligible for severance pay? Yes. The answer is no. There's you mean if you're currently like in the yeah, Bush administration? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. There is even in here a sample letter. Your sample pink slip is in here. So here is an example of the pink slips that Richard found. All right, imagining you're working for the federal government. Dear Ms. Mead, this is to notify you that your service as Senior Executive Undersecretary for Deputy Secretary for Undersecretaries will be terminated. This action should not be construed in any way as a reflection on you personally or on your performance under the previous administration. Kind of cushions it nicely because it is painful. This person's losing their job. It, it takes the emotion out of it. It's nice. It's a classic case of you played in the big league. Now be prepared for the result. But it's a heck of an excuse, isn't it? Why were you fired from your last job? It I was, was a new president. Not bad. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Okay, back in our studio now. This is Greg. He's our lighting director. Makes me look way better than I really do in person. <laughs> Oh, no. um, you were watching uh, another. I did some surfing this morning. Some yeah. Table surfing. And you, you saw another network kind of making fun of our hologram. They did. They did. But at the same time, they were like, you know, if they can afford the toys and they can pull it off, then then why not? But, yeah. So did you not see the hologram? Well, let me show you what it was. Just the coolest thing during the election coverage at our sister network CNN, uh, where they couldn't have the reporter in studio, they beamed her in. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Hi, Wolf. All right, big round of applause. Uh, we did it. Uh, there she is, uh, Jessica Yellen. Uh, you're, I know you're in Chicago, but we've 
uh, done something, a hologram. We beamed you in. We beamed you in here uh, into uh, the CNN Election Center. Okay, so that's behind the scenes of the actual network coverage. Now, let's take you behind the scenes with um, Ed Henry. We like to call him Election Ed. He's so good about schooling us what it's like to cover these people day in and day out. So here you have Election Day. What was it like being with John McCain? Hey, Robin, get a load of this. I'm taking you behind the velvet ropes, VIP access in Phoenix, Election Day with John McCain. So Election Day started for me here in Phoenix at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 3 a.m. local time with live shots. But I'm not complaining because there have been workers literally working through the night, hammering away, trying to get this stage ready for John McCain on election night. This is where everyone will see him either declare victory or concede defeat. And it, the Arizona Biltmore here, historic property, special significance for John McCain. First of all, he got married to Cindy here. Second of all, Fun fact, did you know that Irving Berlin wrote White Christmas here, poolside, at the Arizona Biltmore?